What's up? Assalamu alaikum. Hey, I like you, man. What's going on? I'm doing fine. Good, good. good. You reached out to me. You said you want to talk about Tawheed and Trinity again? Yeah, last time we didn't really get a chance. We kind okay. of uh, went into a bunch of different uh, discussions. Okay. And and uh, it was kind of all over the place, but you know, I wanted to you know get some things out there. Sure. But this time, I want to try to keep it more focused. Okay, we'll just stick on Tawheed and Trinity. That's it. So don't bring up any other issues, right? No, that's correct. I okay. heard you. Uh, well, I wanted to start by saying I heard you say on one of your videos that uh, Jesus allowed the Jews to insult him, right? Yeah, and yeah. he said, but don't insult the Holy Spirit. Oh, well, that was today. You were listening God. earlier today, yeah. But yeah. Then because that's God. No, no, to that's not what I said. No, no, no. So you, you're mishearing me, Jihad. Right? Uh, but, 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 but that's what I, that's what I heard. And, and no. just allow me to finish, please. And so you said, because that's God or that's the Spirit of God. So what I heard from that is that you're saying that Jesus is making a distinction between himself and God. And that's no, what I heard. That's what you misheard. And this was in today's session. So this is the problem. This is what I warned Christians. But I expect you to mishear me because you're not trained in Christianity. But this is what I warned <clears throat> Christians about. No, I didn't say that Jesus isn't God or that the Holy Spirit is God. And therefore, you can insult Jesus because Jesus isn't God. Go back and rewatch it. Because what I said was that Jesus is standing before Jews appearing as a man. So if a man comes to you and says he is God, it's to be expected if you're a Muslim or a Jew and a Christian that when a man says that, you're going to think he's crazy and blaspheming, right? Yes. Okay, so Jesus is a man, flesh and blood Jew. So there's no denying he's a man. And in fact, this is why we're having a debate because your debate with me is he's a man, no one denies, but he's not God. So Jesus is saying because, because of the fact that you are scandalized that a man claims to be God, meaning me, I expect that you would react violently and insult me. This is why I'm patient to forgive you until I give you clear, irrefutable proof that I am more than a man, God in the flesh. But what's your excuse in blaspheming the Holy Spirit when you're seeing the miracles I'm doing by the Holy Spirit, like cast out demons, destroying Satan's kingdom, and you still insult the Holy Spirit. What excuse do you have for that? Okay, that, that, that's not what I heard, but anyways. Go back and re-listen. That's exactly what I said, but go ahead, Jihad. What's your next point? What I'm saying to you is, don't you make a distinction between God and Jesus? I don't know. Because it depends what you mean by God. What do you mean by God? If you mean God the Father... Yes, Jesus is not God the Father, but because he's a son of the Father, he has the same nature of his Father. Uh, just to give you an example what I mean. So how is body, that one? That's what I don't understand. How is that one? Because, I don't have a problem with okay, anybody well, following Jesus. Nobody loves Jesus as much as the Christians, uh, as, you know, like Muslims do. Well, okay? And we, you don't love my we Jesus. believe what he taught as far as being good to your neighbor and, and giving charity and helping the poor and stuff like this. But yeah. what you have to understand is we're not willing to deitize him. Well, number one, you don't love my Jesus. You love Isa ibn Maryam that you think is the real Jesus. Isa ibn Maryam, yes. yes. But that's not the Jesus we believe in because Isa ibn Maryam is another Jesus. But let's keep it one at a time because you brought up several issues. When you say, how do you understand? I don't understand how God is one. Now, you just committed shirk. I hope you know that. No, I said I don't understand how you guys say that. Yeah, God you just committed one. shirk. You know, don't you committed games. Don't, no, Sam, you did commit you shirk. You Sam, I, we were having a good cut. Now you're playing around. There you go. Yes, yes, you did. Because let me explain to you if you're patient. Does not the Quran say in 42 verse 11, 42 verse 11, and Surah, Surah Al-Fas 112 verse 4, 112 verse 4, and 42 verse 11. There's nothing comparable to Allah. Allah is unlike anything in creation. You agree with that? Yeah, Allah is, is uh, laysa kamitli. So nothing like him, right? Allah is nothing like Okay, him. but notice what you just said. You're assuming that God, if he's one, the only way he can be one, if he's one, only one person. 
But that's only true of creation. Yes, you are one person, one man. You can't be two persons if you're one man, right? You cannot be two persons if you're one man, right? You, creature, right? So you're trying to say that if God is God, he can do anything. Right? You believe that too. God is above his creation, and he's unlike creation. So if God says, this is how I am one, and this is how I am many, then who are you to tell God what kind of oneness, <clears throat> what kind of unity must he exist as in order for you to accept it? That doesn't work. But where does he say that? that all three are one where do you where does it say in the new testament that all three are one i don't think it's explicitly mentioned i think that's you don't the, need to have you don't need to have one verse where it says all three are one in that exact fashion uh -huh. well uh -huh, uh -huh. hold on you sure you want to go there you're setting yourself up because if i give you john 10 30 do you believe when jesus i and the father are one is that good enough for you at least to prove that jesus is one with the father and therefore one god with the father well, I don't believe it's true. Okay, so then why are you asking me to show you something in the Bible? So you just asked me to show you something in the Bible. I do. You don't believe. So how okay, am I going to so, answer your so, question? Yeah, I was asking you if that's the case. Obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's corrupted. But well, see, now you're changing the topic because, no, your prophet said it's not corrupted. Can you stay on the topic? Because now you're telling no. me to go off topic. So you're changing the topic. Stay on topic. Go. Okay, so. You're asking me where in the Bible does it say these three are one? It doesn't have to say it in the exact way. Just like if I ask you, where do you find in the Quran Allah saying he's a singular person, only one person? You can't show me that because he doesn't say he's one person, right? He just says wahid, ahad. But what does wahid and ahad mean? So my point is, just like you look at the entire Quran and study the Quran in its entire context to learn about your God, we look at the Bible in its entirety and we see all that the Bible says about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and about God, and that's how we derive theology. But can I show you where Jesus says, I and the Father one in the context where clearly he's saying, I'm not the Father, but with the Father, I'm one in power because together they're the one God. Because I'm going to read it. Whether you believe it or not, I just want to read it. Are you ready? You can read it, but but what? Because this is the point. You're saying Trinity, right? I'm going to prove the Trinity if not from the Bible. I don't, so make up your mind. What do you want to talk about? No, I want to talk about Tawheed. Okay, so you want to go back to Tawheed? Okay, let's go to Tawheed. That's up to you. No, I'm no this, is, this is part of Tawheed. Okay, so then let me read the verse. Go ahead. John 10, 27 and 30. I'm going to read it for you. Hold on. Let me get it up for you. One second. I got to do the reading for you. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Now first, the Hebrew Bible, and I'm sure you're going to agree with this. This is the Torah. See now that I, even I am he, there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So here God says, all power over life and death is in my hand. Life and death is in my hand. You die when I want you to die, and you live if I want you to live, and no one can deliver out of my hand. You would accept this, right? Yeah, I do accept that. Okay, so no creature can talk like this. No creature can say no one can deliver out of my hand and I make a lie, right? Correct. Okay, now Isaiah 43, verse 13. Yea, before the day was, I am he. There is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work when who shall let it. In other words, no power can deliver anything out of my hand. When I want to do something, who can stop me? You agree that only God can say that, right? Only God can say that. Allah. Okay, good. Well, hold on. I'm just trying to set it up so you can see. Okay, now here, Psalm 95. This is a Zabur of Dawood, Zabur of David, or Zabur anyway. 95, 6 to 8, it says, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, Yehovah, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. So he's saying, we are the sheep in his hand, hand meaning his power, his care. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of mass in the wilderness. So here it's saying, since you are the sheep in God's hand and his care, where he protects you and feeds you and preserves you by his hand, his power, listen to his voice. Okay, keep that in mind. We are the sheep of God in God's hand under his care and protection. We are to hear his voice. Now watch this. Watch what God says. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. Life that never ends. Notice what God is saying. 
They shall never perish, nor shall anyone snatch them from my hand. See, I give them eternal life. No one can snatch them out of my hand. When they're in my hand, I protect them, and I'm almighty to preserve them from anyone who want to destroy them. They're my sheep. They're my voices. So you see what God said? Do you agree with what God said here? I do agree. And nobody can do what God can do. So, okay, but again, I just want to make sure. So you do, you don't have no problem with God saying this, even though it's in my Bible, that just God said, let me read it again. God just said, one more time, let me read it. He said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, they follow me. We follow God. I give them eternal life. Only God can give life that never ends, right? Correct. And they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. They're in my hand, and I protect them. I'm almighty, so no one can destroy them if they're in my hand. So you agree with the words of God here, that God alone can say this and do this, right? Of course, and I and I and Amen. I agree. A, a lot of what the Old Testament says, yes, agrees with the Quran. Good, good. So you agree that this God, but, here God is agreeing with the Quran, right? Yeah, that's Jesus. Not not just this. Jihad, you know what listen. That's Jesus speaking. I just quoted okay. Jesus, and you just admit okay, Jesus so, claimed to be God. So okay, but listen okay. before you get excited. Hold on, wait. No, okay, no, no. Jihad, listen, that's Jesus. I just quoted Jesus in John 10, 27, 28, and you just admit that's God Almighty speaking. So you just admit that Jesus claimed to be God Almighty in the flesh. Thank you, Jihad. No, you you, you were in the Old Testament. No, I, I know. Jesus. I didn't say where I was. I said, are these the words of God? You said yes. Well, well what I'm saying to you is God can say that. But Jesus God just can... said it. Okay. Now I, let me read the rest of it, though. My I believe father, that Jesus can say that. But you just said only God can say, I give eternal life, none can deliver on my hand. So you're changing your mind now? Now let me finish it, though. Let me just finish it, 29 and 30. You were, my, you can I finish the, the two verses, Jihad? Let me just finish two verses. My father, see, Jesus speaking, so he's not the father, who's given them to me is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them from my father's hand. So notice what Jesus said. No one shall snatch them out of my hand. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. Why? My father and I are one. There you go, Jihad. Okay. Now, do you accept I don't that? Jesus, Jesus has the right to say those things. You made it sound as if God was saying those things in the Old Testament. And if God is saying those things in the Old Testament, that's correct. Okay. I want everyone to hear this. So you're saying a creature can give everlasting, never-ending life. A creature is almighty over life and death, and a creature has the power to protect believers in his hand forever so that no one can destroy them. A creature can do that, huh? No, a creature cannot do that. But that's what Jesus just said, and you don't believe he's God, so make up your mind. No, no, Sam, what are you talking about? Jesus said... I give them everlasting life. No one can pluck them out of my hand. No one can deliver on my hand. I'm almighty over them to protect them. So, Jesus, you don't believe he's God. So are you saying he just committed shirk? No. What I believe is that this is a version of the corrupted oh. Bible. So you want to change That's subjects right. and talk about the Bible corrupt and the Quran corrupt, or you want to stick to Tawheed and Trinity? We're sticking to Tawheed. I'm just okay. making a comment that okay. I don't believe that this is the authentic. So do you Jesus. at least agree Jesus claimed to be God, even though you don't believe he actually said it? As far as my Bible is concerned. As far as the Bible that you have today, yes. I believe it's written that Jesus claimed to be God. Okay, then that's it. Said, Let's go to Tawheed then, because there's no point. You're admitting my Bible in my Bible, Jesus claims to be God Almighty. I know that's what you guys believe. No, I'm saying my Bible. Does it teach that Jesus claimed to be God, one with the Father and the Spirit, even though you don't believe Jesus said it? That's all. Because if so, then let's go to Tawheed because there's no point. You, you, you admit my Bible does have Jesus claimed to be God Almighty, though you reject it. So let's talk about Tawheed. I reject it. Okay, so then... There's no point in then arguing what the Bible says. You accept that the Bible says it, but you don't believe the Bible. So, so you we... were expecting to argue with me on that point about saying, where does Jesus uh, say that? No, you were. T did you hear yourself earlier? You said earlier, where do you find the Bible? The three are one. I said, we don't find it in that way, but you'll do find Jesus saying, I am the father and one. And I can show you the Holy Spirit. Is yeah, God, I, but... I was I was asking you. But at the same time, Jesus prayed. Correct. Yes. Okay. If he's not the father, what do you expect him to go silent, not talk to the father? 
What do you expect to happen? And we already discussed this. Jesus is not the Father. So Jesus can pray to the Father, speak to the Father, and the Father can pray and speak to Jesus. What's the problem? I, as okay, a Christian, so yeah, you, you have the problem. That, okay, so what, what, what you so, so what you're saying is that's more than one God. You're saying no, that's, I'm there's saying God and God. There's more than one person God. who's God. Notice again, you committed shirk because you assume that God can only be one if he's only one person. Why? Why? I don't even. Why? Why do you just assume that if God is more than one person, he can't be one God? Where are you getting this from? Because one plus one plus one doesn't equal one. Even though one times one times one equals one, one minus one minus one minus one equals one, one to the third power is still one. Are you going to now reduce God to math? My friend, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. You guys make it, you guys make it clear that there are three entities in the Trinity. Yes. Three. Sure. Exactly. So you can understand why it would be confusing. And it's even very confusing for various sects of Christianity to explain. Do you expect others... that God can be fully understood? So there are things about Allah that doesn't confuse you. Are you sure about that? 